I want us to read scriptures quickly because I know I don't have a lot of time and we have quite a number of things that we need to do after the service. Please take a note. We have invited a lady and her husband to come. Uh, they, they, they come all the way from America and uh, they have set up a children's home here in Kenya. And now this couple, they are coming to speak to us today in the afternoon. And they're going to be telling us about parenting. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. You better invest in your future. You better do what? Invest in your future. So I want to invite all of us to come. It's, it's not a paid event. It is free of charge. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. So please make sure that in the afternoon, don't leave, take some mandazi, take some tea, and then let's come back and, uh, and, and, and we're here. I'll be seated in front here because I also want to invest in my future. Amen? So please take a note of that. If you had some plans, just begin to cancel them right now uh, 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 and tell them that, uh, that we are doing our parenting class today. We are doing our parenting class today. Now, this is for the single parents. If, you're, if, you, if you are a single parent, you are invited to come. You are a single father, you are invited to come. You are a single mother, you are invited to come. You are a couple that yet does not have a child, you are invited to come. You are a couple that has five children, you are invited to come. You are planning in the future to have children. Who, who is planning in the future to have children? You are invited. Buona sifiwe. This information will not hurt anybody. Buona sifiwe. You see, see, come here, marriage, you, you are beginning to feel on fire. Uh -huh. In your total, hallelujah. So please take a note of that. I uh, will be here, but I'll give you more details uh, at, the, at the tail end of this service in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You know that we have been doing, we, we, we began off the month of September and we were doing evangelism. And what we were calling ourselves, we were saying that we are witnesses of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Please ask a neighbor for me how many people they've witness, witnessed to and uh, how many people they have prayed the prayer of salvation. Ama wali yacha September. Tunaendelea. We were becoming witnesses and you're tuendelea. Buona sifiwe. Have they answered you? Ama miangali ambele ata atan. Ata atan. Ko hivi. I'm focused on things above. Ah. Please ask them for me. How many souls have you won to Christ? How many souls? Now, now, now talk to them and tell them, don't cook figures right now. You know now, they're just about to cook figures. And then we went from being a witness and we said we must become what? Disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you remember that? And there were some five things that we talked about that number one, you must be baptized. Ask a neighbor, are you baptized? Uh, because by the look of things, eh, especially that neighbor. Mm -hmm. And then we said, after their baptism, they must be given to their apostles' teachings. Then number three is that they must, they must do what? They must fellowship. And then number four, we said, they must be involved in breaking off bread. Ah, turn to a neighbor, high five them, tell them you're doing very well. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, we said they must do what? Pray. Do you remember those five things? And then last Sunday we had our visiting minister, hallelujah. Oh. I was being told that the, heat, that, that the seats were heated, hallelujah, they were very hot. Hallelujah. And he asked us a question, are you a crowd or are you a disciple? Please ask a neighbor, please ask a neighbor, this week have you been a disciple or you've been in the crowd? Mm, mm. As a disciple, as a disciple in Jesus' mighty name, amen? I said amen. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Even me when I went home, I began to analyze and I realized there are some places, areas in my life I've been where? That's why you saw me also up here, lifting up my hands. Ah, I was, <laughs> I was also praying. I want us to push it a little bit further. And today, I want us to talk about becoming a believer. 
and I know witnessing is about speaking the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And I want to move very quickly today uh, because I want us to pray at the end. Eh? And then now, being a disciple, you become a follower of Jesus Christ. Uh, witness is that you are speaking the message. Do you, do you understand me now? Witnessing, what are you doing? Speaking the message. For, uh, being a disciple, what are you doing? You are becoming a follower of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then now, uh, 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 being a believer is doing what Jesus did. Hallelujah. Is doing what? What Jesus did. Now, listen to the, the words of the Bible, the book of John chapter John chapter 6 and verse number 28. I'm going to pray for my voice. Amen. Uh -huh. what, what, what does the Bible say? Listen to these word, this words. Want to go? We are reading together. Then, then they, they asked him, him what, what must we do, do to perform, perform the, works? the works of God? When you read it in the King James, the Bible says, what must we do to do the works of God? Because ladies and gentlemen, they are works of God. Hallelujah. It is true I've been a witness. It is true I have been a follower. But now I need to work the works of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Ask a neighbor, are you working the works of God? In fact, ask them, do you know the works of God? <laughs> hallelujah. So now, they are, they were, the, 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 the disciples, they come up to Jesus and they are asking Jesus, Jesus, tell us, what must we do to perform the works of Jesus? And I want us to answer this question today because Jesus himself answers that question. What does he say? Want to go? Want to go? And Jesus, Jesus answered, answered them. them. This, this is God's, God's work. work. What is God's work? To, to believe, believe in the one whom he has sent. Hallelujah. So for you now to be able to do the works of God, you must do what? Believe. You must do what? Believe. For you to see situations change in your life, ladies and gentlemen, you must do what? Believe. Because ladies and gentlemen, it is easy Sometimes to be just a follower. There is no work on you. There is no demand on your life. You are following. Hallelujah. But now the next step after you have followed is you, that you begin to do what? You begin to do the works of God. Remember he said, thy kingdom come. Uh, hallelujah. What? Thy kingdom come. And that kingdom coming, ladies and gentlemen, is you being able to do what? The works of God. Can I now show you the works of God? Now, so before these guys asked this question, there are several things that have had happened with the disciples. That's why now they come and they ask, what are the works of God? There's something that had happened in their lives. And I want to show you in scripture what now brought them to ask this question uh, uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Are you ready to go? I don't want to take a lot of time. Oh, my. Oh, yo, yo. Amen? Can we just read scriptures and then we'll pick it up from, uh, from there at some point? What am I going to check there? Let's go to some Mandiko. To some Mandiko. Want to go? After, After this, this, Jesus, Jesus went, went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, or mm -hmm. Sea of Tiberias. Uh -huh. A large crowd was following him because they had seen the signs attesting miracles, which he continually performed on those who are sick. Ladies and gentlemen, for crowds to follow you, you, are, you must have works. Yeah. 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 I think because of looks, <laughs> you are joking. <laughs> we. Did, uh, you must present something. You must show some results. Hallelujah. The crowds are following Jesus because they know 
Something is, is about to happen. He, they know that he carries the works of God. We, we unesido kipigia watu. Wachana na watu. And you haven't come to see me this week. Wax, wax, wax. <laughs> Nowadays you're not checking up on me. Wax! What am I coming to do? Ah, uh, The crowds are following Jesus. Remember, there is no Instagram. There is no Twitter. There is no poster. There is no advertisement on TV, neither on radio. Ladies and gentlemen, what are they doing? They are following Jesus because they know there is a man with some works. So you've got to sing, Janice. Hallelujah. Amen. They hear that sound and somebody gets healed. When they get healed, they know that when she's... Uh, Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Where are you? You are sending CVs. You know, you don't need to send CVs. In this, Kwanza na cancel CVs in this house. They are going to follow what? They have heard about you. I said they have heard about you. They are telling you, come. Now the day they tell you to send their CV is for formality. But because of your, because of your, because of your, Town. What you need is what? Yes. Hallelujah, city lighters. Yes. If your work nyawera is to talk, what do you do? If your work is to sing, what do you do? If your work is to work, what do you do? Show me some. We want wax. Because of the wax that you have, unanipea ka wisdom. Nasema, oh, yo, 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 that's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. Lakini nikika hapo, there is nothing. No revelation. No insight. No wisdom. No word of knowledge. Ni Show me some. Maneno tu, maneno tu. Or did you see what I needed? Imagine they are dating nowadays, guy. No wonder you don't have works. Wait, let me. I'll show you in scripture. Jesus is hiding. What is he doing? Hiding. It doesn't matter. People are looking for him because they want to see Sam. Ask a neighbor for me. What, where are your works? Chairman, is it okay if I remove this? At least you know now I had a coat. Bila koti. Chairman, I see you. I see you. works. Ben, there must be some works. There must be something that you are accomplishing. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, people don't follow blindly. Don't be fooled. When you hear that they are following him blindly, napana wamepumbazwa na ile kitu wanafanya. The works. So when you see crowds following, they're not just following. They know as they follow their Let's see what happens. What, so what happens after uh, in, the, in this thing? Uh-huh. So one to go, verse number three. And Jesus went up on the mountainside and sat down there with his disciples. With his disciples. Uh-huh. Look at what the crowd will do. Uh-huh. One now, to go. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews was, was approaching. approaching. Uh-huh. Jesus, Jesus looked, looked up and, and saw a large, large crowd was coming toward him and he said to Philip, 
Shh. Where, what was the crowd doing? Where is Jesus? We need to see work. We need to see work. Buona sifiwe. That's why in that office, reduce works. Works. Tomorrow in the office, what do you do? Works. As you're doing programming, works. Come up with a product that is works. Come up with... Mm. Stop quoting others. I want you to be quoted. Ah. Einstein said, do you know when Einstein died? <laughs> we need Einstein akujua, akujua programming. Oh, yeye aliona tu fruit ni nani alia nani aliona fruit kianguka? Ni Isaac Newton. Newton? Ni yeye. I zoned aliona at at now there is gravity. We are still there. We we need some new revelation. We need some new revelation. I saw a fruit, an apple falling. This must be gravity. Why didn't it go up? What are you talking about? <laughs> Jesus is on the mountain top. Where is he? Sister, we imagine high heels. We was, oh no, imagine me. With these new shoes. Then you squeeze in a slap. See you what? Lakini, you don't care the high hills. You know he's at the mountain. Where are you going? Up the mountain. Because you know he has what? When you hear people starting to give excuses. Oh, no. Imagine, imagine I was called just last night. It's because works in your life. Your works are not working. Listen, what happens thereafter? Uh-huh. Let's go, let's go. Where will we buy bread for these people to eat? But he said this to test Philip because he knew what he was about to do. He knew he had to work for them. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, what must we do that we may work the works of God? He is telling them, he's saying, where Philip, Satufanyeje. But he's not asking Philip. He already knows what he needs to do. He knows the working. Yan yet a wokul is a swali ko fisi. You already. See at a well kuapo. By the way, even me, I'm I'm so stranded in this thing. Oh my. What are we going to do? You are a city later, so pia will co-op on Dani. What are we going to do? Ukin I'll also slap. He is asking, but he knows what he's going to do. Uh huh. Listen to what the Bible says. What, the, what does the Bible say? Uh huh. Philip, Philip answered, answered, 200 denarii, 200 days' wages worth of bread is not enough for each one to receive even a little. Uh huh. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a little boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are these for so many people? Jesus said, have the people sit down to eat. Now the ground there was covered with an abundance of, of grass. grass. So the men, men sat, sat down, down about 5,000 5, in number. Uh-huh. Then, then Jesus, Jesus took the loaves and when he had given them, that, he distributed them to those who were seated. The same also with the fish, as much as they wanted. Shh. Now, I consider this one of the greatest miracles that Jesus Christ did. Personally. Because ladies and gentlemen, every miracle that Jesus Christ did touched one individual. This is the only miracle that Jesus did that everyone present was touched. You know, if he raised Lazarus from the dead, it is only Lazarus who came back to life. So it was only Lazarus who was celebrating and his family. The rest of the guys were dead. They, or they remained dead. So Jesus comes to the pool of Bethsaida. Do you remember the pool of Bethsaida? Finds a guy who has been there for how many years? 38 years. What has he been doing? He's been saying, there's nobody to push me in. Jesus speaks to the guy, and what does he tell the guy? Get up your, pick up your mat, and what do you do? Walk. 
but around that pool of Bethsaida, there were other guys. So he's the only one who gets up. That's why they are concerned about him when he goes into the temple carrying the, the mattress. He said, why are you carrying the mattress? He said, the guy who healed me said I can carry it. <laughs> Do you remember the guy that he spit on and then he told him to go and wash at the, seal, at the pool of Silo? It was only one guy who was healed. But ladies and gentlemen, there was a certain miracle that touched everyone who was present. Everyone ate. They all ate. And the Bible says, until they were satisfied. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, we all don't have the same capacity. You can tell. There are some who eat much. There are others who eat little. But the Bible says, in this particular a miracle, everyone present, what did they do? They ate. Not only did they eat, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says, and they were full. Until there remained how many baskets? Twelve baskets. Ladies and gentlemen, I, this is also the only miracle, the only miracle that the four Gospels record. It is recorded in the book of Matthew, chapter 14, it is recorded in the book of Mark chapter 6. It is recorded in the book of Luke chapter 9. And it is also recorded by John in chapter 6. So it becomes one of the greatest miracles that has happened. So the disciples are watching Jesus. They are saying everyone that is in Jesus' ministry is being touched by the miracles that Jesus Christ is doing. That's why they are coming up with a question and they are asking themselves, ladies and gentlemen, what must we do so that we can do the works of God? Because what are they doing, ladies and gentlemen? They are looking, they are seeing what Jesus Christ is doing and they are wondering, we are with this guy every day. We walk with him every day. We talk to him every single day. But the things that he's doing are amazing. So they are asking themselves, what also must we do so that we can work the same works that Jesus Christ is doing what? Doing. And Jesus Christ answers this question. And what does he say? What must you do? You must do what? That's why when he comes to the, uh, uh, to the centurion man, and the centurion man says, you do not have to come to my house, only speak a word. He says, it is good that you have believed. For I have not seen faith as much as this in Israel, apart from this guy who knows the statues of God. And the Bible says, at the same time that he believed, the man also was healed on the other side. Talk to a neighbor, tell the neighbor, neighbor, you've got to believe. I told you that's not a good neighbor. Turn to the other neighbor and tell the neighbor, hey, neighbor, believe. 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 Buenas, if you Can we see what happens there after, before they ask the question? Uh huh. Go on, go on, quickly. What does it say? When, when they, they had, had eaten, eaten enough. Are you seeing, and, and, uh, do you see now what I was talking to you about? Well, in fact, go back, go back to verse number 11. Verse number 11. Verse number 11. Kidogo to, Kidogo to. The Bible says, they ate as much as they this miracle, this works produced as much as any individual needed. The Bible now says in, in, chapter, in verse number 12 that, that, that uh, uh, when they had eaten enough, umenda rounds, umenda rounds, umenda rounds, umenda rounds, it's still enough. As a result of what? Works. When they come back to you, you still have another idea. When they circumvent that idea and they pull it down, you still have another one. When they don't like you in that whatever, you, bonus, if you, you are still producing enough. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. They can't stop you. You are unstoppable. Why, ladies and gentlemen, you are working the works of God. Turn to a neighbor and tell the neighbor, hey, neighbor, you've got to have some works. Uh -huh. Go on, go on, go on. What does it say? What does it say? Uh -huh. He said to his disciples, want to go, gather, gather up, up the, the leftover leftover pieces, pieces so that nothing will be lost. Hallelujah. This is very, very interesting and I'll teach you about this some, some other time. But today, let me watch it. Uh -huh. 
So they gathered them up and they filled 12 large baskets with pieces from the five barley loaves which were left over by those who had eaten. Uh -huh. When the people saw the sign, a testing miracle that he had done, they began saying, This is without a doubt the promised prophet who is to come into the world. Then Jesus, knowing that they were going to come and take him by force to make him king, uh -huh. withdrew again to the mountainside by himself. Do you see again he goes hiding? He goes where? Hiding. But because he has some words, people don't care. They still look for him. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, you just need to be anointed. It, <laughs> you just need to produce some works. It, sometimes it doesn't matter how you look. Bonus if you How you look is not an issue as long as people can get some works from you. You don't have to be handsome to work in the works of God. You start working the works of God, you will become handsome. Because everybody will be looking for you. Bonus fuel. You don't have to draw bonus fuel. <laughs> All you need is what? All you need is what? All you need is what? People will look for you wherever you are. Guy. Bonus if you will. At, uh, at my hair must be, oh, you are joking. It doesn't have to. You can even come out, um, talk, even come out, um, pigwa bomb. Boo. <laughs> like any people don't care. They don't even see that your hair is standing like this. I quiver. What I need me to your maneno. I said, I'm going your maneno. As long as you have what? As long as you have what? Ladies and gentlemen, do you know your English does not matter? You can be shrubbing from here to... Lakini tumeka hivi, tunakusikiza hivi. Kwa nini? Wax. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You have that meru, heavy meru. One man used to say mbas, but this is water to condani ambas. It doesn't matter who condani ambas. You are voting bus. It, it doesn't matter. All you need is some what? All you need is some what? This, Jesus goes again. Let me show you where he goes. Where does he go? When evening came, the, the disciples, disciples went, went down to uh -huh. sea, and they got into a boat and started to cross the sea of Capernaum. Uh -huh. It was already dark, and Jesus had still not come back to them. Uh -huh. The sea was getting rough and rising high because of strong wind that was blowing. Uh -huh. Then when they had eh? then when they had rowed three or four miles... Don't worry, as long as you have wax, we'll listen. <laughs> We know you have wax. Dime kuambia tu kisa mambas tu kuko ndani, ndani ambas. Joking with the, with anointing. Then huh? when they had rowed three or four miles, miles and were near the center of the sea, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and approaching the boat, and they were terribly frightened. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember. In, 20, in verse number 28, what do they ask? What must we do so that we can do the works of God? Because what they are seeing Jesus do is amazing. So Jesus has just fed 5,000. And you know those 5,000 are only men. And I can guarantee you if there were 5,000 men, there were probably 15,000 women. Amen. <laughs> You know, you know, the Jewona discernment, Nemana, you're arguing with this point. And if there were 15,000 women, ladies and gentlemen, can you imagine children? Because even the lunch they got was from a child. Now, now you know, in bonus fuel, like me, I have three. So you can imagine, bonus fuel. <laughs> in the 15,000, each has maybe two or three. There were many people. So they have seen all these people being fed. And ladies and gentlemen, remember, they ate as much 
as they wanted. And they had enough until they returned some. Are, are we together? Are we together? So they've seen this miracle. Now they have gone, they have rowed their boat into the sea. Now the, the Bible tells us they are in the middle of the sea. What do they see? They see a guy. Just coming slowly. They are terrified. They are terrified because now this guy can feed people. Not only can he feed people, what else can he do? He's walking on water. Na anakuja tu, anakuja tu. Hey, the guys are terrified. They're saying, oh, who is this? Because they know where Jesus is. They left Jesus in the mountain. Now, once they see Jesus coming, what does Jesus say? But Jesus, Jesus said, said to, to them, them, it, it is, is I, I, I am. am. Do not be afraid. Uh -huh. Then Go they on. were, then they were willing to take him on board uh, the boat, and immediately the boat reached the shore of the land to which they were going. Shh. Ladies and gentlemen, are you seeing this scripture? What does the previous scripture say? The boat was in the middle of the sea. Ah, uh, si urudi nyuma uoneshe watu. Go back. Go back, because now people are not believing me. What, look at verse number 19. What does it say? Then yes, when, when they, they had rowed three, three hours miles, miles and were near, near the, the center, center of, of the, the sea, sea they, they saw, saw Jesus walking on the sea and approaching the boat. So now, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus, what does he do? He steps into the boat. Once he steps into the boat, where is the boat? The boat is at the shore. So Philip is not the first man to teleport. No. Jesus had already teleported the 12. Amen. That's why I keep telling you, when you read scripture, I, I finished John today. Ah, uh -uh. it's not for finishing. What? <laughs> so now, they decide, you, can you imagine where you get your boat? Hey, to Shafika. What happened? You, you started to row on Mawe. Where, where am I? Uko kwa show already. Jesus na kwambia stop rowing. Shafika. Can you imagine the amazement of these disciples? That's why they are coming back to Jesus and they are asking Jesus, what must we do to do the works of God? That's why they are coming back to him. They are asking Jesus, Jesus, what must we do so that we can do these things that we are seeing you do? Why? Because of what they have experienced with Jesus Christ. Are you understanding me, friends? Are you understanding me, friends? And Jesus answers them. Let's continue quickly. Uh -huh. Want to go the next day? The next day, the crowd that stood on the other side of the sea realized that there had only been one small boat there and that Jesus had not boarded the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Uh -huh. Now, some other small boats from Tiberias had come in near the place where they ate the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they boarded the small boats themselves and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. They are willing to pay money to cut across the sea. To come look for Jesus. Bonus if you Why, ladies and gentlemen, again? Because of what? Works. That's why they have to outsource you. That's why your music has got to go far and wide. Are you, uh, ben, am I in the right, in the right church here? Amen. In the, uh, bonus if you I, I was being given a testimony by Nyawera here. There are people watching her all the way from the U. Uh, bonus if you Who are investing. You've got to... People have got to look for you from abroad. Amen. Amen. Then you start to listen. What must we do so that we can work the works of God? Nakutole a clip. So they are seeing what is happening to Jesus. These guys, they are not stopping. They are looking for Jesus like something is lost. Bona sifiwe. Bona sifiwe. Now they've gotten into boats. What, what, what are they doing? They are going to look for Jesus. Quickly. Let's, let's, oh, yeah, yeah, Victoria. Uh -huh. Quick, quickly. So that we may do the works of God. Uh -huh. 
So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they boarded the small boats themselves and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they, they asked, asked him, Rabbi, Rabbi when, when did you, you get can... here? Now, they, they are just about to ask Jesus, Jesus, when did you get here? This is the crowd. Jesus knows that these guys, their minds are small. They can't even comprehend if he tells them the actual truth of what happened that night and how he was able to translate from where he was to the other side of the sea. He knows that these guys cannot take it. So what does Jesus do? He deviates that conversation and tells them something different. When did you get here? He doesn't answer. Because sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, our minds are not where we can receive from God. Now, I am this, oh, I don't know. Now it's going to be, huh, what I like, shall I tell my parents? Sometimes our minds are not able to comprehend. So look, look at the answer of Jesus. Want to go? Jesus, Jesus answered, answered them. I, I assure, assure you, you and most solemnly say to you, you have been searching for me, not because you saw the signs attesting miracles, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. So now I'm here, eh, na, eh, na wajua. Oh, muna nitafuta. To where were you, Jesus? I'm, mm, ni loves, muna tafuta. That's what Jesus is saying. That's what Jesus is telling them. Look at the following scripture. Do, Do not, not work for food that perishes, but for food that endures and leads to eternal life, uh -huh. which the Son of Man will give you. Yes. For God the Father has authorized him and put his seal on him. So now the disciples, together with the crowd who are there, what do they do? Want to go? They then they ask him, him what, what are we to do so that we may habitually be doing the works of God? Uh huh. Go on, go on, go on. Jesus to the... answered. Uh huh. Go on, go on. Jesus answered, answered. This is the work of God that you believe, adhere to, trust in, rely on, and have faith. In the one whom he has sent. This is the amplified version. So let's read it again. One to go. Jesus, Jesus answered. This, this is, is the, the work, work of God. God that, that you believe. believe. Shh. So now, he's just about to tell us, what is this believing? Because ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. Believing siku kaivi. That's how meamini. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Let me show you the next level now. Wona leta mchezo kwa prayer watch. Tomorrow things will be fine. Tomorrow things will be fine. Una pata zimekuangalia hivi. That's not believing. That's not believing. Let me show you what believing is. Because the scripture makes it known to us what believing is. What is believing? Number one, it is to adhere. Show me the uh, point number one. Point number one. Point number one. Are you seeing that? Uh -huh. So point number one is that you must adhere to his word. What are you adhering to? His word. Wewe na classic asubui. Na zinaituaje mpatanisho. Wacha tusikie vile walirudiana. For what? For what? How does it help you? Weka hiya plugs. Classic 105. Oh, I'm going to shangata me as a judge. See, I Sai, sai. Niki kuja kwa gari yako. Ni washe hivi tu. Ni washe tu. Radio unajua inakanga automatically. Radio iwake. Radio iwake. 
Bibi sasa tuko hapo kwa parking tu. Kunisikiza ati this na the Nigerians are taking over. Wacha wewe. <laughs> Victoria, we were supposed to finish this thing by now. I think it's a good time to finish. Way. 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 Nikikuja kwa wewe omba mba sana. <laughs> Nipatane na wewe ama nikupate kwa hiyo plogi zimuambia buni nisikia. <laughs> Nda kuwa hivi tao macho na njini, ukiniona tu hivi wewe anza kukimbia. <laughs> na mimi juu na, na, nataka kuanza tizi, nda kuwa na kukimbisha tao. <laughs> Lete hizo earphones nisikia. <laughs> Kupata hugu, mimi na wewe tao tunakimbishana. Gentlemen, no wonder we can't do the works of God because we don't adhere. Adhere to what? To His. Since you ask us to move to Zingine, we can't see the bell while I'm doing it. But to Zingine, to what has Yele Weki? Reduce your time of entertainment. Ni me kuambia na isi simu. One day, one day, one day. Bana si fiwe. Simu tu kila saa, kila saa, tuko tu hivi. Wezi take time ata kusikiza wa. Listen to what the Bible says, Matthew chapter 7, Matthew chapter 7, quickly. What does it say? Therefore, ah, unawana, ah, sasa ata msomi. Hey, mavu wa usi gome, tuwe tuendele. Aha, want to go? Therefore, anyone who listens to my message of mine, and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, but it did not collapse because its foundations was on the rock. Now, the word of God gives you a foundation that nothing that the enemy throws you away can, can cause you to, st to stumble. You're not like a reed that is tossed about every now and then. Why? Because the words that you hear, they anchor you. That's why Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they could tell the king, King, we know that our God is well able to deliver us, but even if he doesn't, we will still not bow down to you because in the scriptures we are, we are told by God we should not bow down to any other God. They knew their scripture. Now whether God saved them or God did not save them, they were still relentless. They were not going to bow down. Ladies and gentlemen, when you don't adhere, that's when you are tossed about. That's what you are tossed about. Mshari mechelewa, sasa wewe, you are here dying. Don't you know that he is Jehovah Jireh, God who provides for me. My provision does not come from my boss. My provision does not come from men. My provision is allocated in the heavenly realm. It is dropped down by the angels in Jesus' name. And if angels are, are busy, he sends the ravens. Sasa weka mishara kama chelewa uku Uko uku crying I don't know, I don't know I don't know how, I don't know If it were me, Lord If if you were me and I was you Na mishara yako chelewa tuki dogo God, God, God Oh my God. <laughs> Watch Abana. What is this believing that he's talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, it is to do what? To adhere to his word. To know that that word is forever settled in your heart. Whether I am 35, 
I am 40. I know what the word of the Lord said. That in the book of Isaiah, none of them lacked a maid. 50 years of age, you are still strong. I know what the word says. And the Bible tells me that he has lifted up his word even above his name. God, believing, ladies and gentlemen, is adhering to the word of the Lord. Listen, let's finish that scripture quickly. Well, uh -huh. Now there's, uh, there's another category of people. Want to go? Everyone, Everyone who keeps on hearing, hearing these messages of mine and never puts them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and battered that house and it collapsed and its collapse was total. See me in the ISV version. ISV version. So you can check it out. It is just, it collapses kabisa. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we must adhere to the word of the Lord. Let me show you number two quickly so that we move quickly. Number two is that you have to trust in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord, ladies and gentlemen, does not mean you see. It just means that you know God. You trust God. But because the Bible says that Abraham judged him faithful. Not his situation. He judged him faithful. Not his situation. So, the Bible says, what does the Bible say about trusting in the Lord? Want to go? Always trust the Lord completely. What do you do? Trust the Lord completely. He told you he's going to get you out of that situation. He will. Judge him faithful. Judge him faithful. Completely. What are you kidogo kidogo? Completely. That even when it doesn't look like there's a Goliath right in front of you, you tell that Goliath, by the way, the bear came, the lion came, and even you. You will end up in the same place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Completely. Want to go? Do, Do not think that your own wisdom is enough. Uh -huh. Is it enough? If it were enough, what a swear. You would be billionaires here. But we all know it's not enough. So what do we need to do? To trust in the Lord. What is the result? Remember the, the Lord in everything that you do. If you do, he will show you the right way to go. So now, when, when you talk about believing in God, ladies and gentlemen, now what this believing does is that you trust in him. When you trust in him, he directs your path. Amen. You are always successful. People are wondering, how is it that you are successful? It's because there is a direction. There is a voice from behind you saying, this is the way. Follow ye in it. What are we talking about? What must we do that we may do the works of God? He told them, believe. What is to believe? Is to adhere. Is, ladies and gentlemen, to trust in the Lord. Number three, what is it? Look at it. Look at it. Look at number three. It's dependence on the Lord, what we are calling rely. Who do you rely on? Who do you rely on? Who do you rely on? You know, I... I needed to go somewhere, and, uh, and I was a bit late. So I, I, I said to myself, now, I need to go to the expressway. I need go, to go through the expressway so that I'm able to get there in good time. But I didn't have money on my, on my ETC, on, the, on that kind of thing that they put for you. So I didn't have money. So I said to myself, now, what am I going to do? Uh, God told me, I want you to go through the expressway. How many of you know? You are about to experience what you have never seen before. Anyway, you go up the Kathing and then you, you, land, you land where now they charge. So, I said to myself, Kufika hapo, nikasema wacha niangalie simu kidogo. Uh, ni 
nikae ni kama sitaki kuingia expressway nikiongea kwa simu i'm i'm keeping the road the, the rules of the uh, i mean kena so nikachukua simu nikasema mungu <laughs> nitumie kitu please <laughs> nitumie nitumie kitu nitumie kitu so i'm there i'm just i'm just about to get in so anyway but when i check the phone nika niko na phone light <laughs> kaifanya hivi kuna ime light somebody had sent me and had sent me some 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 money and and had followed up with the message i didn't quite first deal with the message <laughs> i dealt with etc first so i paid and i was able to go and then when 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 i when i paid and of course the thing opened up i had the holy spirit speak to me and ask me why do you doubt me like like why do why do you always do this thing Like how many times do I need to prove to you that I'm with you? How many times do I need to prove to you that I'm with you? And he was asking me, "What George, why do you keep on doubting and you doubt every now and then? Every now and then you're doubting, you're doubting the same thing." Along the way at Asiku, I there, there was some music I was playing, I just paused it. I just, I just began to pray and I told the Lord, "Lord, please forgive me." because when i see the enemy in front of me and when i mean the enemy is sometimes bills is sometimes like now we are so full in, in in this hall now we need our children to get a place we need nini nini the place is so hot that sometimes we i don't even know what to do we need to buy that land i was there today in the morning and i, I went in there to pray when i went into there to pray the god first of all called me akaniambia pastor hebu kuja kwanza nikwambie akaanza kuniambia Akaniambia umesikia hii mali inauzwa. Nikasema guy. Hata si react na nani moyo wangu kaanza tuku. Akaniambia in fact kuna waindi walikuwa hapa hii uh, wiki. Nikauliza by them nafanya nini hapa? Akaniambia hao waindi wametumwa na mwenye hapa they come and survey they are ready to pay up almost 1.5 billion. Nikakumbuka account za church na zangu <laughs> bwana asifiwe so and nikamwambia eh hey, hey, wacha kwanza niombe wacha kwanza niombe nikienda tu hivi kustepa wewe akaniambia na by the way akaanza kunipia stories zingine za hiyo land vile i don't know who is involved who is involved today in the morning what had i what had i gone there to do and the god and the god ananiambia out of his good will because he wants me to know asiye ananiambia kwa ubaya apana hata kama kuni discourage see in fact he's telling me because he wants me to actually get that place so he is giving me info but that info what it's doing to me so nikamwambia so eventually he released me to go and pray so nikamwambia me wacha kwanza ni nikaomba 3 minutes niko tu hivi natembea tu then at the end you know there is something that happens to me nikafikia tu mtu amenitapa nikaangalia nyuma there is nobody and the holy spirit just spoke to me and told me come back these guys are doing their deals here on earth why don't you go higher why don't you sign a contract somewhere else because here it seems like you're not able to sign this contract why don't you sign your contract somewhere else that's when my spirit came back to me and i began now i didn't deal with the matters of 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 signing here on earth i began to go into the spirit realm and i began to say i know the wind is not there i can guarantee you <laughs> and because i know he's not there guess what me i know the access there jesus oh jesus i started shouting bona sifiwe I wish you could have seen me today in the morning. I was on fire. But ladies and gentlemen, sometimes believing is relying on God. At the face of adversity and things that are difficult, things that let me show you. Let me show you a scripture. Let me show you what this means. Now, this guy has is faced with uh, with an army of about a million people. If you're faced with an army of a million people, 
you have 300,000 soldiers. That's a tall order. And you know in those days, wanajipanga ile side, lanyimu wanajipanga ile side. So unaona, you see the enemy. So King Asa, who is the father of Jehoshaphat, listen to what he says. Want to go? Now. And Zerah the Ethiopian Cushite came out of Come, came out against Judah with an army of a million men and 300 chariots, and he came as far as Maresha. Then Asa went out against him, and they drew up in battle formation in the valley of Zephathan and at Maresha. Don't worry, go on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Want to go? Asa yes, called out to the Lord his God, saying, O oh Lord, there is no one beside you. you to help in the battle between the powerful and, and the, the weak. weak. So, so help, help us, O oh Lord, our, our God. For, for we, we trust in and rely on you. you. And in your, your name, name we have come against this multitude. O oh Lord, you are our God. Let, Let no man prevail against you. Hallelujah. Look at the following scripture. What does it say? So, so the, the Lord, Lord struck, struck the Ethiopians, Ethiopians with defeat before Asa and Judah and the Ethiopians fell. Fled. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mabu. Uh -huh. look, look at, look. Asa and the people who were with him pursued, pursued them as far as Gerar. And so many Ethiopians fell that none of them were found alive. For they were destroyed before the Lord and his army. And they carried away a very large amount of spoil. Just keep the scripture just a little bit. Let me show you something here, ladies and gentlemen. The ones they are killing are the ones who ran away. But a majority of them are the ones that the Lord struck. The Lord is for you. I said the Lord is for you. I said the Lord is for you. You have, you just need to believe. The Bible says, it was the Lord who struck the Ethiopian. Before Judah and before Asa. Asa did not even do anything. Asa, kile alifanya ni kuwakimbisha. And vile aliwakimbisha, everyone who ran, the Bible says, and he struck them down. And after he had, he, I mean, he, he killed them. And after he had killed them, ladies and gentlemen, Kumbe, he had brought one million people so that there can be a great spoil for Asa. It's not so that he could be defeated. Rely on God. This is what believing is. It is relying on God. And then the last thing, and, and, and this one will not even say much. Just, just have faith in God. Have faith in God. For God is pleased with these kinds of people. Who have faith in him. For he who comes to the Lord must first believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of them that do what? Seek him diligently. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things which are not seen. This is what believing is. Ladies and gentlemen, when you get to this level, you begin to do the works of God. And today I've been sent to you. And I'm near finish here. I finish here. Who is that with an impossible situation? Huh? You have an impossible situation. Like Esa. Come, let's rely on God. Where are you? It's you I'm waiting for. It's you I'm waiting for. It's you I'm waiting for. Don't worry. Even if you're upstairs, where you let it happen? Before the Lord. He, 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 Bring it here, bring it here, bring it here, bring it here. We must believe. Today, where, upstairs, where are you? Just give those who are coming away, give them away, give them away. Who are these people who do the works of God? The Bible says, him that believes. Him that does what? Believes. Bring it to, to the altar here. Bring it to the altar here. Bring it. Where you let it to altar to us. And you just begin to pray over it. As you get here, just begin to pray over it. Begin, begin to pray over that situation. We, we can't be poor all our life. Me, me, I don't know about you. 
I can't struggle all my life. Well, there is help in God. Well, there is help in God. Well, there is help in God. And not me. Not me. Quickly come, quickly. I'm waiting for those guys upstairs. I see them coming. I'm waiting for you. Because even me, I have an impossible situation. But my Bible tells me, I may not have billions, but my God owns a thousand cattle in a hill. My God owns a thousand cattle in a hill. Arusta la brazia kanda la brohoshia kanda. Me, I don't know anyone. And it is okay. I know God. I know God. I know God. I know God. Zebre seke telebrosia kanda la brosia kati abrahasia ratal. Even if we are going to feel that time, it's okay. Let's feel it. What is it for? It's okay. Ata kama ni sisi wata tutu takuja. Aina shida. There is no problem. We can't struggle all our life. Well, there is help in God. Impossible. Impossible. Jalabra hasi akanda la brosia